All right, folks, I'm coming back to you. Back growing up, being a kid, my dad, all he would drive was Mopars, and that's what we were raised in. And back then, you could afford them, but nowadays, they've just gone crazy. I mean, the six-cylinder cars are bringing crazy money that we couldn't get four or $500 out of. And I remember back when, in the uh, early, early 80s, I had a uh, Dodge Charger RT 440 car. It was a RT, 70 model, uh, power steering, no air. And I think 1500 maybe 1300 is all that car would bring the back then. But, well, if I, everybody like to say if I had it now. But anyway, I'm going to show you some stuff that uh, my dad has kept over the years. And let me, this is one of his cars that he drove back in the day. This is a 1957 Plymouth Fury. And if you see the headlights, for those that don't know them, the forward look, you see the turn signal are inside because 57, it wasn't legal to have four headlights. That didn't come to 58. And if I can get the hood up, you'll see. Now this car sitting here is pretty rough, but uh, very sought after car. Uh, it's been sitting here as long as I know. It's got the fancy bumper guards. You can see the bumper guards. We've got the gold anodized grill, buckskin beige with the uh, gold down the side. And uh, so let me see if I can get the hood open without getting beast on. Hold on a second. All right, let's see if this hood will come up. Well, not much, but if you can see, it's a factory two four barrel car. Still on it. That's factory two fours back in 1957. It's power brakes. So it's a pretty. The model, but the 57 Plymouth Furious to me is one of the prettiest cars 57 58 we ever made. Around here, now this is in my backyard. I'm not kidding you. This is uh, see the twin antennas. I don't know if this door open. I hate to try to open and not get it shut back, but anyway, you can. No, it ain't gonna open. But uh, there's still a lot of a lot of stuff here. Like I said, it's rusty. You can see the rust where it's set. But this is sitting in my backyard. He's got two of these. He's got another one, which is a 58. And I've got some pictures of one that he wrecked back years ago. I'll show it to you. Been here a long time. Everybody asks, why don't you fix it? Why don't you fix it? I don't know if there's enough money. Nowadays, the way prices are to uh, fix these things. I mean, I'd love to have it back out on the road, but I think at this point, as long as it's said, it's more of a parts car than anything. But this forward look to me is absolutely just blowed the Chevrolet's and Fords out of the water back in 57. He's got a 56 Plymouth Fury also, and uh, See, it's kind of hard to see, but anyway, it's drove up here in park back years ago. I don't even know how long it's been, but like I said, he's got cars. That's a, a Papa's old Nomad Chevrolet used to fox hunt in. See the Nomad right here. I've been a fox hunting in that car many a times. 283, still runs. That is a Corvair Spider Turbo Coupe, I guess it is called, or Corsa Turbo. Never drove that one, that's just something he traded up. Now this is a, uh, it's actually a Nomad. And it is a four-door. Yes, they did make four-door Nomads. And I'm just trying my best not to get beast on. But uh, anyway, that's my grandfather's car. And... Uh, he fox hunted out of this thing. That was a big thing back in the day, fox hunting. Sitting here, and this is a turbo. That is actually a turbo coupe. And here's another truck that we're actually going to try to get out. But this is a 1958 swept side. Swept side pickup truck. And it's got some rust on it. But there's enough parts on this thing to uh, put it back together. And actually, it was blue... See if I can get over here and see the colors on it. Now this side over here, 
71, I think, was the last time this thing, according to the tag, it was drove. It's got some serious rust on this side. You can see that. But I still think there's this truck's valuable enough to where. And like I said, I'm I hold that over. Y'all see a bee's nest holler. But if you can see, it was a blue and white truck. You see the blue. And I can't make this out, but we always thought it was an old Sears truck that they used back in the day. Push button. Push button. Transmission. But uh, transmission had trouble in it. So if you'll see here, Papa put, I remember back him driving this thing and put that shifter in it. And it never worked right. He always had to bang on it and pull on it to get it to shift. But uh, anyway, everything is still there. The only thing about this truck that always throwed me off is every time you see pictures of a 58, they have four headlights. This has got two headlights. Now, if somebody out there can comment and tell me why or if this is something that fewer of them had or whatever else, but uh, this has got the single headlights of the dual. And uh, you can see the door, but uh, actually the, the cab is not a big deal to fix because there's enough parts out there to fix that but the bed sides and I think there's a man that's got uh, access to the bed sides but all they did it's just a station wagon bedside they bolted on the side of these trucks back in the day y'all anybody knows anything about them knows what I'm talking about they just went to the station wagon department brought them over bolted them on made a flip side and uh, like I said my papa fox hunted in that one too so I'm just going to kind of show you a few of the stuff that just breaks your heart, I know. But this is just, uh, like I say, looking out my back door, the car poor. But these are pretty cool. Like I said, that 57 Plymouth Fury Factory 24s is unreal. And uh, we used that car, we used to crank these things back in the day ever so often, but you know how time gets. But anyway, just wanted to, uh, just wanted to show you that and... Uh, Kind of get some comments on it. If you, if you like what you see, give us a share, give us a like. Please comment. I'd like to know what y'all think about the cars and any details you can give me on the truck as far as the headlights and single headlights and this, that, and other. But uh, we've got, like I said, my dad's got every car he's ever owned. And uh, this is just a, just a very few. There's a whole lot more up on the hill there, but uh, I hate to go up there. But he's got another 57, 58 Plymouth up there. A 56 Plymouth Fury. Uh, we used to ride in it, and uh, I'm just trying to think of what all else. But I'll show you. I'll show you as time goes on in between the car bills because we're in between parts and all that kind of stuff. So, but anyway, thank y'all for watching. And like I said, please comment. Let me know what you think.